Hello. I'm happy to present today my work on statistical stopping criteria for automated screening and systematic reviews, which I've done with my colleague, Finland Miller Hansen. So in an evidence synthesis project, we have to identify studies. So we have to separate relevant from irrelevant documents, and this can be very time consuming. Machine learning can help, and we can use active learning pipelines, which means we have iterations of human screening documents, followed by um, the training of a machine learning algorithm using those human decisions. Then the machine learning algorithm predicts relevance probability for all remaining documents. And then documents are ordered in descending order of predicted relevance. And there is a fairly large literature on this, but it's worth saying that often the work savings which are identified are potential work savings because they're dependent on a priori knowledge of how many relevant studies we're looking for. So to achieve these savings, we need to stop screening early. And in the paper, we go into a little bit more detail about why existing uh, ways to do this are insufficient. In this presentation, though, I want to um, make a concrete example using some R code. And we basically set up a, a toy data set with 2000 documents of which 100 are relevant. And we represent this as a vector of zeros and ones. So a zero is irrelevant and a one is a relevant document. And the parameter we're most interested in recall, and that's the number of relevant documents that we've seen divided by the number of relevant documents in total. And often we have a target level of recall, which is something like 95%. So if we screen the documents at random, then we will see 95% of relevant documents. So that's the y-axis after seeing about 95% of all documents. So this line here represents the achievement of our target. However, if we can use machine learning to identify relevant documents faster, we will achieve this target faster and we'll save some work. Or we could, we could save some work. However, to save the work, we need to decide when to stop. And actually we don't know, we don't have enough information to make that decision. Because here it looks like it might be a good time to stop. But actually, when we have the full information about the data set, we can see that this is too early. And so what we need to do is we need to calculate um, using a bit of maths when it is actually safe to stop. And we do that basically by using information about the documents we've already screened to infer something about the distribution of relevant documents in the documents that are less that are yet to be screened. <clears throat> and so what we do is we imagine that we stop machine learning prioritized screening at some point and start drawing at random without replacement from the remaining documents. So in probability theory, we use the analogy of an urn with green marbles, which are relevant documents or successes, and red marbles, which are irrelevant documents or failures. And using the hypergeometric distribution, we can calculate the probability of drawing K relevant documents in a sample of N documents from an urn that had N total documents of which K were relevant. <clears throat> and so I have to skip these slides a little bit for time, but we can calculate a lot of these parameters. Um, but the problem is we don't actually know K, so we can't do, we can't simply do this calculation. What we have to do is we have to uh, substitute a value in for k, and we do that with um, we do that in order to develop a hypothesis test for a null hypothesis that we haven't yet reached our target. <clears throat> so k tar is the number of documents that would have been in the um, in the urn, number of relevant documents that would have been in the urn at the start of screening if we had not yet um, uh, achieved our recall target. And so we can uh, calculate a p-score for this. And if this p-score is below our critical value, then we can reject the null hypothesis and say it's safe to stop screening. We can calculate this at every point um, along here. And here are the p-values that we get for each of these little red dots. And you can see that <clears throat> At some point, we reach a point where p is below 0.05, where we can say we reject the null hypothesis that we haven't achieved 95% recall. 
and this is a little bit after the time when we do actually achieve that task. But that's not so useful because we don't want to start a random sample. So what we can do is we can treat the previously screened documents as if they were drawn from a random sample. And this is a conservative assumption as long as the machine learning hasn't completely backfired. And so we take the last one, the last two, the last three, etc., documents <clears throat> and calculate the p-value for um, as if that as if we had started a random sample here, 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 and here. And so here are the different p-values that we can calculate for all of the different subsets of previously screened documents from this point. And you can see that um, um, at no point is the p-value low enough to reject the null hypothesis. And so what we do is that we can um, calculate this at every point, the minimum p-value, and this gives us these values here. And this shows that after about three quarters of all of the, um, seeing all of the documents, we have enough evidence to say it's safe to stop, uh, to stop screening. And we actually tested this on 20 systematic review data sets, simulating 100 machine learning assisted reviews of each of these data sets, and our criterion actually performed reliably. And you can see, you can have a look at the paper to see how this compares to other, um, other approaches, but it's the only one that's actually um, reliable in this sense. So thanks very much for listening. Um, all of the uh, R code you need to um, reproduce this or to calculate this um, p-value in your uh, using your own data is in this presentation. Um, and this is also online, as is all of the code. Thanks very much.